They were really uh, damaged by the storm, but a lot of work this morning to get the golf course ready. Cheyenne Knight here. The hole today cut down a little bowl, and that'll get a bit better. When I was out walking on the ninth fairway. Hard squeegeeing fairways, just trying to get the course playable. Zurich on the way here at the second. Yeah, it wasn't just the greens they were trying to squeegee, but everywhere. Good shot. Below the hole. And back over to the third. This hole playing a lot shorter than yesterday, about 40 yards shorter. Emily Pedersen, yeah, we're going to see quite a lot of good golf shots here, I think, today. 30-year-old who went to the University of Virginia. Putting down into that bowl. Yeah. Well, yesterday, as I was saying, the first three holes were pretty tricky. I think we'll see a few more birdies at three today, definitely. Probably even almost got to the golf course before they knew there was a two-hour delay. Yeah. Cheyenne Knight. I see from her body language that didn't go in. That's a missed opportunity there. It was a very good look at birdie. Part three, 12th, and the second for Pajari Anandarukarn, the 23-year-old from Thailand. Keeping it on the ground and in the hole. <laughs> okay. Well done. Power play off the tee, but it does play two yards up. A little bit of wind helping. Another good chance, giving herself a chance. Um, seems to be playing some better golf. Now, this is Gabby then at the fifth, coming off a birdie at four. She needs a good day today to try and make the cut. Gabby only got into the field with her finish at the Lotte Championship last week, and she couldn't get a flight out. She stayed in Hawaii, because she was planning to stay in Hawaii for a couple of days, only arrived here at the third, Lilia Vu. And, Tom, what a difference it makes moving this tee up. Only 131 yards today. Huge difference today, Karen. Oh, so much easier. And that was going to come back towards the hole. That's going to be very good. Yeah. Second at two, Tavitanikin. Has missed a cut in 2023 after struggling a bit through the stretch last year. Oh, that's very nice. Such an advantage watching somebody put on the same line. Oh, I was trying to sneak away, but just enough pace, and it's a good two from Lilia Vu, and she is tied for the lead. It's Emily Pedersen. This is a moment to go for a birdie at the fifth. Nice start to the day. One under so far. And this will be a long-range birdie for the Dane, so that moves her to one under for the championship, just four shots back. Change coaches, been working with Chris Mason as of late, and I think just all in general has a bit better attitude out on the golf course and a refreshed energy. And the flag today on the front of the green, so the penalty area coming into play already, and a few groups that have come through here, but not for Steph Kariaku, what a shot. Especially out of the rough, the thick, wet rough over there to the right of 15. Beautifully done. T at 12, Andrea Lee at three over with an eight iron. Yeah, Seen some great shots. This one from the T at the par three, 12. The 24-year-old on a Stanford looking for a second win. And Jin Young Ko on the T. Set up way open with her stance there. Trying to play a little bit of a fade. Nicely done. This is a moment to go. Back at the third. Cup Cho. Oh, it's going to just get inside the ball of Jin Young. She's got nine iron. Shot. 
Stephanie Kiriakou for the birdie at 15. We saw the very good approach, and she does convert. So she gets back to four under par, where she's grown up. Jin Young Ko with the short birdie putt of the third. Another one goes in there. This is a birdie fest today, the par three. Ng Lee for birdie. Yes. Picks one up there at the second, Minji Lee. And Cheyenne Knight on the tee at the par three. Looks like a good line, and it is a good line. Well, she's got a chance to get within one of the lead. Oh, just above her feet slightly. Okay. Talking to her coach, who was out walking with her in the. Uh... All right, out to Nasa Hataoka Tom. Yes. Get that? See? And of course, she was named in honor of that organization. And this could be a bit of a rocket from Nasa. How about <laughs> Especially coming from a foreign country. So Yun Yu. Birdie at five. This was a moment ago. And Soyeon to level par. Now at the 17th. Kiriakou's tee shot. Yeah, and she's giving herself a birdie try. Says she feels more comfortable now playing on the LPGA Tour, traveling in the U.S. Second at six, Ayaka away at three under. Whole location today, front right. Got to be careful if you miss right. There's a big fall off. Oh, gets a fortunate kick. Mm. Great kick. Nicely done. Gemma Driver a moment ago at the sixth. That area right there, right side. Oh, might go. Yes, it does. That had some steam hitting the flagstick, too. But what a shot. NG Lee in the fairway at four. 223 yards. This is on a great line. Does get on the surface. Great chance. Fourth hole, par five. This is Matilda Kastron, first player from Finland to win on the LPGA Tour. And that's a good birdie. Gets her a couple under par. Maybe try and pick it just a hair thin. Sounded good. He's right there. Whole location tucked on that right side with a slope that feeds away to the right, so you've got to be a little left of this flag. She was aimed a little left with her feet. That'll do. Nice. Yeah, it's okay. But she truly does believe that she can win each and every week. And I think that the interesting thing is this is the first major she's come into with that true belief, having won already. And maybe in part because of that struggle, because of that journey, it, it, it defines who she is right now on the golf course and that confidence. To not be in any danger with that front bunker. I mean, she catches this. She's longer than NASA. She's leading in the field this week in greens and regulation, Karen. Oh, this looks good too, Morgan. Mm. If, the, if that's the shot that you don't like, I think you're doing pretty well. Well, par five, eight, the third for Manny Zurich coming up. Yeah. They love it. They should. Still inside the right, though, is the line. Yeah. Two years ago, during the Chevron Championship, she was at home. Looks like maybe heading a little bit left, trying to get it to fade. There we go. Beautiful distance control.
At the fifth, Lucy Lee. Came through the Epson Tour last year. And made a couple of starts on the LPGA uh, in the latter stages of the 2022 season. Approach Manny Zurek at the eighth for birdie. So, also on that pick. Quicker than I think we're used to seeing so far this week. Let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, good stroke. No breakdown in that wrist. Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful pendulum to that stroke. And, and more aggressive than we're used to seeing from Nelly. She usually likes to just kind of drip the ball in on the front edge. Weeks in terms of her golf game. Moment to go at the eighth foot away for birdie. They helped it. Nelly from the bunker a moment ago. And that's really well done. I've seen some good bunker shots so far this week from Nelly. Now Minji for birdie. Just slow back up the hill. She got. She hammered it. <laughs> yeah, she got the line right. We talked a lot about it uh, today at seven. Not quite getting uh, the line right on that green, but Minji hit it hard enough where it didn't take any break. Yeah, yeah. it's another birdie. <laughs> Started to work back the other way from that angle. Found it, though. Samari Avery, one of the amateur invitees in the field this week. Oh, that's pretty well done there. 15. Four-time winner. Championship, and then to do that. To have a tourniquet to get to six under par. Yeah. Been working with uh, Chris Mason, a new coach, over the last six months or so. And to play the weekend at the Chevron Championship at the moment, we've got a couple of players who will play their way in. Nelly Corder for a birdie at nine. That is... Uh, that's something to watch out for if they start to go in from that distance from Nelly. Sehun Kim just off the green. Knew it early. This is Dana Fall on the 17th with our top trace of technology presented by Progressive Insurance. And looks like a pretty good line. Looks like a very good line. Astrid's third here at the eighth, par five. Good one. Been still struggling with the back and neck today. That's going to get there. But it and doesn't that's appear go to in. affect much of her golf. 78 yesterday. Look where she is right now. And she hasn't made a bogey today either. Just about to say I would not doubt her, though, the way she's been putting. Absolutely brilliant. I think you can see by the amount of time she was taking over those pots that maybe not super comfortable. That's going to hurt on such an... After, just after that third shot. I mean, it's a birdie hole. In a great you, spot to make birdie. Yeah. To the 11th. This is Lauren Stevenson over on the right side. We've seen a few players have some tree trouble today over there. Flag on the front of the green, and that took a very nice soft hop, and she is going to have a good look at birdie. This is the ninth hole of the day for Ali Ewing, making the turn here. In style. 30-year-old from Fulton, Mississippi, went to Mississippi State. Lauren Stevenson, we saw that approach at the 11th, left herself in really good position here. Oh, didn't like that one right away.
Here's a moment ago, the second shot for Daniel Kang. Just birded the seventh, birded the eighth. And how about this at the ninth from Danielle Kang? Not far away from an eagle two. It'll be three birdies in a row to finish the front nine. She will go back to level par for the championship. This was a moment ago, Carlota Seganda. That's nicely done, yeah. She likes to hit just an ever so slight touch of a pull, cut. Oh, great shot. Very good. That's going to be a tap in birdie for Henderson, and she's going to get to five under par and within two of the lead. Henderson for birdie at the ninth. Yeah, pretty much given that to her. She looks dangerous on that leaderboard right now. To 18, the third for Brittany Lincecum. Chipping back up the hill at the very end, downhill at the beginning. Then as we're talking about the grain change, it gets dark, back up, in. Oh, there it is. Why would you ever doubt an eagle at 18 for Brittany Lincecum in this championship? She has a few flair for right? the dramatic, doesn't she? Corpus has played the par threes in six over this week. She's one under for the championship. This is a birdie putt at three. It is down that hill, Tom, and that, did she learn from Megan Kang's speed? She did. There you go. That will help those numbers. Uh, well. Gets her to two under. This is Denmark's Nana Courts Madsen. Putting down into the bowl. Get the speed right here. And that is a birdie too. Back to back birdies for Madsen. She's playing alongside Marina Alex who double bogeyed the first. So Marina's back on two under par for the championship. Aileen Kim, this her fourth, had a terrific day so far. And that keeps going with the make from off the green. Six under on the round. Seven under. A. Lim Kim sharing the lead with Lily Yavu. Is A. Lim Kim second at the ninth. Has never led or co-led after two rounds in an LPGA event. Tied for the lead right now. And that, oh, wow. That would have been a great way to walk off the golf <laughs> you course, think? wouldn't it? <laughs> It's going to be a tap in birdie, and she is going to take the lead. Seen here at 12 from off the green. Putter? Yeah, just got to make sure it doesn't bobble. Give it a, give it a lot of pace through the fringe. Beautifully Putter. done. Yes. A one shot lead, and there must be something about this city that A. Lim Kim really loves, having come out of nowhere to win the U.S. Women's Open. In 2020, just down the road at Champions, she leads the way here at Carlton Woods in the Chevron Championship. Here's a player who could be on the team once again, Ali Ewing. I know it's in people's uh, minds right now, but time and time again, you hear players saying, well, if I just concentrate on my game and, and play how I need to to bring the best team for Team USA over to Spain. And uh, it's been fun kind of to be on the other side of it, having played six times and some of the... You can't just tell your players to do that right there, make well, putts like that. We can't have Brooke on our team, unfortunately. I know. <laughs> we would love to have her. Kang for birdie at six on the way. I do like how she rolls the Oh, putt. I guess so. We should. Celine Boutier, a moment ago, is that two under? This 16th hole has been one of the hardest greens to hit. And she made that putt. I, wow. I mean, we saw everybody end up actually down to the left there yesterday. People oh. were struggling to get it close to the front hole location. Checking on Ryan O'Toole a moment ago, trying to get it to two under. Curls it in. I've seen a lot of putts made from off the green right in that area today. <laughs> <laughs> really well below the green surface here, Tom. Has to get some release from this. Is it going to go? Is it going to? Yes! What a little bonus there at the seventh for Shi Yu Lin after a poor tee shot. She's going to walk away with a birdie.